You can think about the EBM memory as an array of bytes. Each element can hold one byte. One byte can be represented as two hexadecimal numbers, that is, from 0 to 9 and the letters A to F. In theory, this array has 2 to the 256 elements. However, in practice, only a small amount of memory can be used, because the cost to allocate memory is quadratic. Basically, to use n slots of memory, or n bytes, the gas cost will be in the order of n squared. Since there's a gas limit for the blocks in the blockchain, this puts a limit on the number of memories that can be used. Almost all operations to read and write from memory happen in chunks of 32 bytes. Oftentimes when you're reading through a documentation on EBM memory, you'll see that memory is arranged in chunks of 32 bytes. Solidity assigns three special regions of the memory for special purposes. The first 64 bytes is called a scratch space. The next 32 bytes stores the free memory pointer. This is a pointer to a region in memory where you can store new data without worrying about overriding old data. Initially, this free memory pointer is set to 32 bytes starting from 0x80. The next 32 bytes after the free memory pointer is called a zero slot. And the 32 bytes after that is initially where the free memory starts. To store data into memory, the function mstore, which is accessible inside assembly block, must be executed. It takes in two inputs, p and b. p is the location of memory to start writing the data. And from here, 32 bytes will be written. The second input, b, is the data to store. And this is 32 bytes. For example, mstore0 with the value 0xff will write 0xff starting from memory location 0. Since ff is 1 byte, to the left of this, we will have 31 zero zeros. Hence, you can see over here that at the end of the first row, the value 00, zero will be updated to ff. As another example, if you wanted to store the value 0xaa starting from the memory location 0x20, then we would do mstore 0x20 with the value 0xaa. This will store the value 0xAA padded with 31 bytes of 00, 0 to the left of the value AA, starting from the memory location 0x20. And you can see this, that at the end of row 2, the value 00, 0 will be overwritten with the value AA. The memory location to start writing from doesn't have to be a multiple of 32. For example, we can start writing from memory location equal to 1. From here, we write 32 bytes, ending with the value 0xbb. Again, this value 0xbb will be padded with 31 bytes of zeros to the left of this value bb. So when this code is executed, the value ff at the end of row 1 will be first overwritten with 00. And then at the beginning of the second row, the value 00 will be overwritten with the value bb. Let's look at one more example mstore2 with the value 0xcc will write the value cc starting from memory location 2. This value cc is padded with zeros to the left so that it is exactly equal to 32 bytes. When we write this 32 bytes starting from memory location 2, the 1 byte of value bb at the beginning of the second row will first be overwritten with the value 00. In the next slot, the value 00 will be overwritten with the value cc. In the next video, we will write some solidity code to store data into memory using assembly.